Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I hope you enjoy this week's sub vlogs. Happy Monday everybody. Um, today I have a half day, that's why it's so beautiful and sunny out. And I am kind of going for more of like a natural look this week. Plus, I just didn't have any of my makeup. I got a new outfit, so I'm hoping I can show that to you guys later. And yeah, I think it's going to be a great week. And I have some fun things to share with you guys and all of that. So, and I wanted to talk about Friday because I didn't give much context to that. So I wanted to explain a little bit further of what I was doing on Friday and kind of what that planning day meant. So I am teaching fourth grade for the half day today and they just went to gym. And I, first off, I wanted to show my new outfit because I'm super excited. I got um, a few dresses a shirt and two pairs of pants at a consignment shop called Turnstile this weekend. I was super excited. I always shop with like teaching in mind, like what can I wear to go teach. So I got this and then <laughs> um, these are really stretchy pants which I'm super excited about. Anywho, I wanted to talk about Friday because I did a half day doing some planning for the long-term sub so in the school district that I'm doing that in they do unit plans and they kind of come up with different projects and things for readers workshop and writers workshop so I went to that because um, the main teacher isn't going to be there for that so I figured It'd be really helpful for me to be there and to help out and like give some ideas but mostly just to know like what to expect and what I will be doing with like a more in-depth view of like the whole planning process and everything like that which I'm really happy about because I would be so confused if I think if I didn't go so now I kind of have the whole like time that I'm in there really mapped out and I kind of know exactly what to expect which is really really nice and I'm super happy about that so yeah that's what I did on Friday I didn't really give any context to it or explain what it was but that's kind of what I was doing um, I don't think that's really typical for a long-term sub to be kind of in on the planning process so I feel very lucky and excited that I kind of got to put some ideas out there and know exactly what to expect when I get into my long-term sub position. So I'm very happy about that. And I got introduced to everybody. So now my name's out there and if I can prove that I do a good job, then it's just gonna be so many more doors opening for me to be able to get a job. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'm just starting the week off um, I, I don't have anything for Wednesday or Thursday yet. Tomorrow I'm in the first grade class that I was in last week. Today I'm in the school that I student taught in, in a fourth grade class, which is helpful. And then Friday I'm doing a half day in that kindergarten class I was in. So you guys, just saying, um, if you get your name out there and get some good connections, you will be getting you know put in the same classes again and again which is really really nice so just saying <laughs> um yeah but my i was part so the subsystem that we use has apps that can connect to it and tell you when jobs come up but um anyways i got a new credit card and so that whole thing the payment got messed up and they kind of suspended my account on the app which is good because I didn't want to have to pay for a whole another month when I won't necessarily be needing it but that's not helpful for this week and next week because I don't know what jobs are out there I've been trying to check kind of regularly but it's kind of hard when you're like in the middle of teaching and then all that stuff and you don't know right away when they come up so 
I might be looking for jobs the morning of, which is something new for me that I haven't really done before. I think I've like done one where I accepted it that morning and then went in. So that's going to be different for me, but it'll be good because then I just saved myself um, $8 for this month and the next two months that I won't need to use that um, app. So that's kind of helpful, kind of worked out that way. Um, but anywho, <laughs> um, yeah, I was also helping the kids with, um, right when they got here, we did a read aloud and then um, we're doing MCA practice. MCA is just like the Minnesota State Comprehension Assessment or something. So we are doing some reading comprehension and they are really going over basically like how to just read over the questions really well and how to take notes and read over the article and use the article to like to go back and to answer the questions and things like that so that is what I'm going to be doing and I'm also going to be doing that when I get into my long-term sub so that's just something that it's good practice to do it now and kind of see what the best practices are so that when I get into there it'll be really helpful so yeah and then after the kids come back from gym they have math and social studies and then it's the end of the day so I think I will catch you guys at the end of the day and I'll see you then so where did you guys choose for your dream vacation Here is an amazing book that I found in this first grade classroom. It's called Of Thee I Sing by Barack Obama, A Letter to My Daughters. And I think it's really amazing because they have different important people who made an impact in our history. And people like Georgia O'Keeffe, and later you'll see Einstein and Jackie Robinson, and just really important people that I feel like it's amazing that he included these people in his story and it really helps to show the impact that these people made and how special his daughters were to him and how the students in your classroom can see those things as well. So I really like this and I think you guys should definitely check it out. Happy Wednesday everybody. I am in a kindergarten class today. So a lot of my week has been these half days, which I honestly don't mind, but it makes the afternoon feel very, very long, and kindergarten is tough, and I'm going to be in it the rest of this week, so <laughs> I'll survive, but it it's tough. It's tough. It is. <laughs> um, but yeah. So there's that. Um, I didn't really talk to you guys yesterday, but I decided to show a couple clips from the day because there was a student teacher in there and um, we just chatted most of the time. We know each other from college and I just spent the time chatting with her because that would probably be the last time I'll see her because she is going to teach, it, teach Spanish in the Dominican Republic as one of the kind of um, one year kind of contract so that's really cool that's a path that you guys can look into if that's something that interests you um, I would have done Spanish but my Spanish just isn't good enough I have a minor in it but it's just not something that I felt confident enough teaching so yeah <laughs> So something from Monday that I really wanted to talk about is actually project-based learning. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of clips or pictures that I took from the class that I was in on Monday, which was fourth grade. They were working on a dream vacation project and this was part of their project-based learning. And so project-based learning 
or PBL, is where students gain knowledge and skills by working for an extended period of time to investigate and respond to an authentic, engaging, and complex question, problem, or challenge. So in this one, they were choosing a dream vacation and they had to research things like climate, the physical map, and their itinerary, um, and different things like that. And then their driving question was, how can we as travel agents plan a vacation to show people places to visit in North America? So this project-based learning basically helps them address many different standards within um, one project. So there's probably, there's usually many different parts that go into it and it's just a more authentic way of learning the material rather than um, you know on a pa paper and pencil or watching a video or something they can choose something that's really interesting to them and then take that and learn about the different things they need to learn about so there is an idea for you guys I really like the idea I heard about in college and never actually saw it in practice in schools so I hope that helps you guys a little bit and I hope you try it out in your class sometime. Happy Thursday, another day in kindergarten. So in the morning message that I wrote, we talked about words that were tough for us and then we and then we did the uppercase letters in orange and lowercase in green. So that's what we did there. The fun game I wanted to share with you guys is called Treasure Hunt. We actually played it here in kindergarten. And basically you do similar things to the game Garbage. So in Garbage, you have a deck of cards and you have to put your cards in number order. So in this game, you have cards with different numbers and different colors on them that correspond to the different colors and then the different numbers in the rows. In order to win, you get treasure chests. So what you do is the cards will go over there and then you pick a card and you basically, you find which color and then one, two, three. So then um, we just played it where like I would get a turn, the students would get a turn. But basically you kind of go through this process of you deal out all the cards face down, draw a card, put that where it needs to go. And then occasionally you might pick up, so say there was a treasure chest here. So you might pick up a treasure chest and then you get to keep it and the next person then would draw a card. Well, obviously that goes there. So then the next person would draw a card. So this was kind of their way of playing it. You guys could probably just play it with a deck of cards with your kids, but it was really fun. The kids loved it. They loved beating me and getting the treasure chest. Not that I let them win and playing this game. So it was really fun and I definitely recommend playing more card games with kids because they love them and they're actually really fun and educational. All right, the kids are at specialist and I am just going to write some final notes they are basically going to come back and leave so yeah it was super fast way different than yesterday's class i mean it's still like a little bit wild for me but and like a little bit unstructured but yeah it was super fun i'm glad i got to come today and um i think i'm gonna end it there before some of the teachers come back because they've really been checking on me which is so nice of them. So I will catch you guys tomorrow when I'm in another kindergarten class and then spending the other half of the work day um, working on my indoor triathlon training. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.